Hey, it's me, your favorite YouTuber. So, Neural Amp Modeler is available for Linux, so let's take a look how we can install that. I have some exciting news also related to that. Uh, in my previous video I showed you that, and, and it doesn't have a UI, but Brammerton, the guy behind Guitarix and GX plugins, he actually made a UI for the uh, for the LV2 wrapped version of the Neural Amp Modeler that Mike Oliphant did. So, let's try those. And one more thing, I can actually do that to a perfectly clean setup because I figured out how I, how I can use a virtual machine to set everything up. So let's do exactly that. So uh, I'm going to use the 2020 22.4, uh, uh, the long-term support version. And it is important because the newer one, the uh, 23.10, already uses pipe wire for the default audio interface. So they work differently. I'm going to use the long-term version that uses Jack as a default. So it's a little bit different. Um, so I'm just going to go to my virtual machine and just launch that. So uh, I have passed my secondary audio interface for this one. And this is this is a live image. So I'm just going to use the live um, image of that. So if you just, you know, uh, flash a USB disk with that and, and uh, you know, boot your computer using this exact image. Now, this is the exact thing that you will see once you, you know, choose the... Uh, choose the stick to be the, you know, the bootable device or whatever. And um, the first thing that I would do here, obviously, is to set up my display to be correct size. Uh, it's probably that one. Looks about right. And then the first thing that you would do is to set up your audio interface. And there's something called studio controls. So whether you have the Scarlet or, you know, M-Audio or, or something else, whatever you have, uh, you would go here and set it up. So um, it's a live version, so I cannot really, you know, click the fi fix real-time permission thing. You should do it if you have a normal installation. Um, also, the CPU governor should be set to performance when you're doing audio recording. You only need to do this setup once, by the way. Uh, then at the Jack Master setup, now this is the important one. So here you can find your USB device. So it probably says Scarlet or Mobile Pre for me because I'm using M-Audio Mobile Pre. And, and so just select that one. Then if you are using the NAM models, Neural Amp Modeler models, they are almost always 48 kilohertz. So you need to have the sample rate set to 48 kilohertz here. Uh, then the buffer size uh, one tw uh, 1024 is going to have a lot of uh, a very long latency. It's it's unplayable like that. Um, also, 512 is unplayable. 256 is already kind of you can play with that, but it's it's still a little bit bad. 128 is sweet. That's that's good. Go with that if you can. If your computer has enough power, you can do that. So select that one and then just start or restart Jack and. Uh, then we will see the status changing here. And once that's done, you know, if you have installed Ubuntu, this is, you, you only do this once and then it's set. It's, it's done. It will launch automatically when you, when you restart. Uh, but if you're using the live image like I'm doing here, if I restart, everything is reset. So everything is gone. But now it's running. If I would now open Kala, I can see my audio device. So there's something called Pulse Audio as well. So Pulse Audio is the uh, kind of the system sounds, and the Jack is then the other sound system here where we can uh, have the low latency audio processing and stuff, whatever. Uh, so system is my USB uh, audio interface. So I have two inputs and two outputs. Now I can actually disconnect all of those now. And if I find my guitar, guitar cable somewhere from here and... Uh, and then let's uh, wire the channel 1 to the playback like that. We should actually hear it. Yeah, we do. Next, we want to get the Neural Amp Modeler and we also want to get some models and we also want to get impulse responses. So let's go to Internet. I will just go to my YouTube page because I have the links there, so... Yeah, in this video I had somewhere here. I will put the links down, by the way, the description, so you can just get them from there. So, uh, the neural modeler, oh, uh, the models, 
and the impulse response. So let's take all of those. So here, if we go to this Mike Oliphant's uh, GitHub, uh, here we can ha see how we can install the neural modeler. So we need to launch terminal. So it's from here, or it's called console. And we can just copy these two lines here. So first we will clone the repository and then we will just cd into that directory. Let's paste it here and just let it do its job. Now it will take a little while obviously depending on your network connection. While it's doing that, let's download the models. So here from the NAM models, I'm going to get the whole zip package like that. And then from the guitar hacks impulses, I'm just going to get the direct download like that. So they are now loading, that's already done can go on that folder and just extract here like that now well, let's take a look how the uh that is still well it's probably already soon let's put a little bit bigger like that oh okay, now it's ready uh, let's see what are the next steps to install so the next step would be the CMake, but I know that I don't have CMake, so I need to install it. I would normally do it like this, sudo apt install CMake. However, this um, live image seems to have some weird issues. I, I think it's because of the live image. Uh, if I try, uh, it will complain something. Uh, then the other way of doing that is actually not using apt, but maybe... Uh, snap snap install cmake but this also gives this kind of an error but you can get around this error by going with this uh, dash dash classic so sudo snap install cmake dash dash classic that works for me but you probably don't have this issue because um, because if you have installed the actual version but if you're using the live image then you might have the same issue or probably have the same issue Let's check, check the next step. So the next step is to actually, yeah, it's the CMake step. Let's copy that, only that one line. There is also an optimization here that we can add. So I'm going to add that. And that's done. So we can just paste that here, the CMake line. And then also add the uh, optimization. Like that. And now we can compile it. And the compiling happens with make-j4. I can just type that make-j4. And now it's building the, the uh, neural amp modeler. And uh, now, yeah, let's just let it build actually. And because the next step is to install it. Um, if you take a look at Kala, and color settings here, we can see the plugin paths. So this is important. You need to know at which path your plugins are, and we need to check the LV2 path. So I'm going to put it to the user lib LV2. User lib LV2. That's going to be the path that I want to install the uh, the uh, neural amp modeler. And if we take a look at again the instructions, it says that after building the plugin, plugin will be at build slash neural amp modeler dot LV2. So let's check that. Yes, we have it here. So let's do sudo cp-r for recursive um, neural amp modeler like that. And then for the user lib lv2 yeah, like, like that. Then before we even launch it, we could launch it already and test it. It works. Just take my word for it. But let's install the UI. We need to install that separately. So we need to go here it says that Primer 10 has one that works for Linux and Windows. So let's go here. And uh, let's just copy the GitHub address from here. And let's go back to the uh, main folder or the home folder. And I'm just going to do git clone and then paste the GitHub address like that. Then we can go to that directory cd neural amp modeler ui and uh, what we need to do so we have some dependencies that we need to get so these we can get with the apt so um, 
sudo apt install, oh, not install, ins, install lib cairo2 dev, lib cairo2 dev, and lib x11 dev, lib x11 dev, and lv2 dev. So we need those dependencies. Yes. Then what else we need to do? We need to make git submodule init, git submodule update, and then make. So let's do those when we have everything installed. So git submodule init, git submodule update, and then what's the next? Make. And now it's done. Next thing, we need to install it. Now it says that if we do make install or sudo make install, it will install it to user lib lv2. So that's why I wanted to put it specifically that folder. sudo make install. sudo make install. Done. Now, if we restart Kala, add, we should find neural amp modeler. And now we also should, if we, if we click the gear icon here, we can also get the UI made by Brummer 10. And now we can also load a model from here. So let's go to Downloads, NAM models. Oh, uh, accidentally chose already something. I actually like the list view better. And uh, let's take the Helga B uh, MXR drive version 2. That one I was using in some previous video. And then what we need, of course, is the impulse response. So let's add LV2 convolution. Mono to stereo, and let's load uh, impulse response for that. So I'm going to load the guitar hack impulse original. Let's put edge, and then we need to, of course, wire everything. So let's wire um, from my system capture, which is capture one, which is my guitar. I will put the neural app modeler from the modeler to the cabinet, which is the obviously the impulse response applier or the convolution plugin and from that to the output and we can already hear some hissing it's working let's plug in the guitar okay and i will actually also cut my mic so that you're not getting any any bleeding noises from there So yeah, that's it. That's how you install it all. Subscribe.